Gadget number one the finger bolt and it doesn't look like much but this is game changing I think about the not so smart gadgets in your home right now your TV your kettle your light bulbs maybe well this makes them smart you download the smartphone app and through it one tap makes this robot arm come down to press the physical buttons on your appliances so I've mounted mine on my PC and so with my phone sitting across the room or even upstairs I can now turn it on now I didn't expect to like this product but for just over $30 I ended up loving it it's a watch my hesitate to call it a smart watch but it's good to see that it can do smart watch things like customize your watch face and check your phone's notifications but that is just the start they tracks all kinds of stats like your number of steps your heart rate your blood pressure and can even act as a remote shutter button for your phone's camera and our stuff is all cool it makes it useful but is not my favorite feature see stored inside are actually two wireless earbuds and the watch doubles as the charging case for them as something that you keep on your wrist all the time anyways that combination makes so much sense you take these earphones out you put them in your ear they will automatically connect to your phone and they don't even sound bad to fit might be a bit of an issue for some people but for me if I spent $30 on just the earbuds I wouldn't feel like I've been ripped off and that's quite an achievement interesting is what I'd use to describe this next product sound boom it's a speaker for your smartphone but one that doesn't require any pairing or actually any batteries for that matter if you have a phone that supports wireless charging like a Samsung or a Huawei then you just turn that feature on and place your phone in the docking area all of a sudden your music will stop playing for your phone speaker and start coming from this much louder much richer speaker so to give you an idea and play music on my phone right now let's put it on and see what happens also mess charging Welcome to a gadget from Ampere. It's a wireless charger, as you probably guessed, but with a twist, you plug it into the mains and all of a sudden have three 10 watt fast wireless charging coils. There is one that's better for Android users, but the one I've got here is Apple Focus. There's one spot for an Apple Watch, one for your AirPods, and one for your iPhone. Plus, the whole thing can be powered by your MacBook's charger. And the added twist is this folding mechanism, which of course makes it more portable, but B means that it can be folded up to act as a stand for your device here's a fact about me magic I can show you I drink a lot of tea and I think most tea drinkers agree that the second half of the cup always tastes less good than the first half because by the time you've got there it's cold enter the new amber travel mug it's not perfect but it's one of my most used gadgets since I entered the studio it syncs with your smartphone and lets you keep your drink at whatever temperature you think is comfortable it comes with a dock and while your mug is on it it can keep your drink warm for two days if you wanted it to although I probably wouldn't drink two day old tea but more importantly the mug also works on the go keeping your drink at the perfect temperature for an extra three hours on a road trip there's a couple of other things I really appreciate here the slid mechanism for example is 100% spill free like that is full of liquid right now when they feel perfectly confident doing this over a whole load of expensive gadgets and I should probably stop that when it comes to drinking as well you just press this down and you can sip from any angle there's also a touch screen on the side which just means you can control the temperature without the app if you want to well you probably didn't see this coming oh three 51 but welcome to cowboy it's a smart bike and that brings a few benefits you probably expected and a few he probably didn't the bike itself it's a pretty conservative mix of matte and glossy black I wouldn't say the design shouts but it's premium in a subtle way it's fairly light to at 16 kilos and you get wide tires for a better grip on the road but what makes it different are the smart features with an app you can lock it and unlock it the same way you do for your car and when it's locked it will not go anywhere you get control over the lights on the front in the back can remotely diagnose problems and probably my favorite feature is that it tells you where your bike is at all times so if you're very forgetful and you just need reminding where you left it it works for that where if you're very unlucky and someone's just nicked it you can still track and trace it plus being an electric bike it's got a battery that you feel the second you first put your foot down it makes you feel like 
What I imagine a pro cyclist would feel tearing around a racetrack except you don't need to put in all that much effort the electric motor automatically accounts for hills and tricky terrain it kind of detects when you're exerting yourself and then just gives you a little extra push and before you know it you'll be flying at 25 kilometers an hour we've seen a lot of smartphone handles in this series but this right here is probably the most well considered one I've come across it's called the Oat Snap and it is substantially sized but looks surprisingly okay on the back of your phone pressing at one end releases a kickstand that can either prop your phone up at an angle or just be used to give you a bit more security when holding it but then you can bring these two ends together and they lock and like that is not coming apart anytime soon you can then slide the grip up or down which takes your thumb up and down with it and there are a lot of times especially with the massive phones we see in our days where I've personally wanted to be able to just kind of slide up and have better access to the top of my phone and now you can do that the grip is curved in a way that prevents it catching on pockets it contains a magnet so you can just throw it onto a fridge for example and the cherry on top is that if you still did want to use wireless charging you can slip out the metal compare and it works next up is a smartphone flashlight but one that I'd say is less of a cool toy and more of a pro tool you can either set it up as a continuous light source if you were just trying to create a dramatic looking video for example example or you can plug it into your phone I've got the iPhone 1 here and it'll then act as a flash for when you take photos and it's about four times brighter than the built-in flash with about twice the range so here are some side-by-side -side shots just to give you an idea of how much difference that makes also from anchor is my current favorite power bank it's not cheap and it doesn't really look like anything out of the ordinary but it's pretty much all you're gonna need for a very long time a 26,800 million power capacity capacity means you can charge even large battery smartphones like six times over from empty that's like a week's worth of battery and it's not just that it can charge them but it's also that it can do it quickly with a 45 watt output from just one port it's actually powerful enough to charge most USB-C laptops there's been a couple of times when I've been out at a boat or in my MacBook is just about to die and this has saved the day but there's more in the box you also get anchors to 3 a 60 watt charger to refill this power bank in about three and a half hours where Jeff doesn't sound fast but when you factor in that this is six ferns worth of battery it's not bad okay let's talk about moment for a minute I've heard a ton about their camera lenses for years on YouTube but never actually got around to testing them till now and they have some distinct benefits over just using your phone's camera so it starts with a case they have four ton cases for a ton of different phones and each one is built could specifically design camera cutouts to allow for lens mounting and then you pick your weapon I've got three right here wide lens of fish islands and then a macro so starting with the wider field of view changes from this to this it's not drastic but enough to notice fish eye though then takes you even further to this and you might be thinking the iPhone 11 Pro already has a built-in ultra-wide camera it seems like a real pointless exercise to stick an ultra-wide camera onto the main camera and for casual use as I'd agree the main benefit though of mounting a wide lens is that you get to still use your phone's main camera to take a wide shot and almost consistently phones main cameras are many times better than their ultra-wide cameras plus with an iPhone the night mode software is fantastic but it only works on the main camera the ultra wide can use it so for perspective I took this photo using the ultra wide camera at night on the iPhone and this is what it looks like using the moment fish islands fixed onto the main camera quite a big difference I also had to play with the macro camera and again came away impressed although one thing to know is that when you're getting really close to objects you do benefit from having another light source but that is where the anchor light comes and welcome to something you didn't know you needed on the face of it it's a pretty nondescript looking plastic box but it opens to form a docking station you sit your phone on this USB-C port and all of a sudden you can connect it to pretty much anything the dock has two USB 2.0 ports which is fun but then turning it around an HDMI which is off so I can buy yeah, my phone straight to my TV to use Samsung decks for example but then even more crucial on the third side is a fast
USB 3.0 port as well as an SD and micro SD card slot and it just works I could record something with my main camera and then slip to the SD card right into my phone and start watching back the clips for a change of pace here's something simple a charging cable but it's a good one you're looking at nylon coated wire for great durability and lead light on the charging head support for 40 watt fast charging but the main differentiator is actually that the head is tilted 90 degrees which I'll be honest for the vast majority people doesn't actually make a difference but it is useful for gamers because usually cables stick directly outwards and get in the way of your fingers while playing this negates that issue we can go further though with yet another cable and before you start jumping around in excitement you might want to hear this the energy 360 is a rotating magnetic cable and there's actually two really cool things about this one that it can flick between both normal and 90 degree orientations but to that it can also switch tips to charge micros lightning and USB-C which covers much every front out there as with everything though there is a trade-off this cool magnetic switching system means that the current is limited at 2.4 amps which should be fine for most people but if you've got one of those phones with super fast charges this might not keep up but this would make an amazing backup cable because it supports everything well this one's fun there's a company called shift cam who have come up with a smartphone case that aims to be the fastest way to adapt your phone's cameras on the fly it tries to address the issue with external smartphone lenses which is that yes they can be great quality but most people are just put off by the fact that they now have something else that they've got to carry around so built into this case you get five lenses to play around with the 10x plus 20x macro camera 4x telephoto 180 degree extreme fisheye and the polarizer lens the macro ones are pretty self-explanatory the 10x slides on top of your phone's main camera to bring you 10 times closer its decent quality to the 20x is a similar lens but because it slides over your phone's 2x telephoto camera it can get you 20 times closer and again quality is pretty good the 4 times zoom camera works in a similar way so to give you an idea this is my iPhone's main camera this would be what it looks like using the built-in 2x camera and this would be the full 4 times using the shift camera lens on top of that and the fisheye kind of speaks for itself very wide field of view but also a ton of distortion and finally this polarizer is basically built to reduce glare and increase contrast on the ultra wide camera of your phone there are situations is useful and but I will say this for all of these lenses you get what you pay for they're good but they're just not as good as buying one lens specialized for one task now for a product that is far heavier than it needed to be but this is quickly forgiving when you feel just how well constructed it is you can tell it was built not to be moved around this is the air quad in the name tells half the story it can charge four devices at the same time and so actually it's pretty similar to that unravel charger we looked at earlier in terms of scope but with this additional USB-C dock for a smartphone or even an iPad Pro as a bit of a bonus if you've watched this far I also managed to get hold of what claimed to be world slimmest true wireless earbuds and I don't doubt the claim these even make the fairly felt airports look chunky the entire effort and case are so tiny that you will put these in your pocket and completely forget they're there that's it they have priced themselves against the big dogs and for a lot of people that might be the sticking point while they do sound great considering they're non noise cancelling and they just rest near your ear canal instead of inside it and they have touch controls for your music and your voice assistance they won't match the connectivity and the seamlessness of air up for watching guys and see you next time.